So, what we've got here, the way that the guys have designed it is you don't have to worry about your right to left. The shape is built exactly to go where it'll wrap under the trunk, so it's perfect. Now, the important thing to do is, once you get it set into place, go ahead and have your hinge, unless you're doing a wet method, but this is all air release product, so any wrap guys that are out there that are wondering, this is wrap material. All right, so we've got our hinge set up. The most important thing is make sure you have your tape lines here. Make sure no matter what you get the tape line because this is going to help you with the next section that you're going to be working on. So make sure when these are on there though, you're going to have to pop open this trunk so don't lose your tape line. So whether you're using a grease pen or whatnot, make sure you have that mark. Now, Ron has already worked on, aka the golden squeegee, has already worked on the flat surface of this. Um, he was going to go ahead and show how to squeegee in here so you guys can see how nicely it sets in. So we'll let the golden squeegee yeah. have at it. Make sure that you guys are paying attention to how he is holding it off the car for when you're lining this up. He's not going all the way to the actual spoiler yet. It's easier to leave some of this out so you can tuck it all at once rather than half and then the other half. When you've got your hinge on there, it makes it difficult to tuck. So once again, <clears throat> this is how important that tape line is when you're lining this thing up. And it's just following the body line. It is hanging over a little bit over the body line because you will need to overlap this piece. It does overlap onto the piece that is down here and you have to put this piece on first so your overlap is going the proper direction. Now, for anyone that's talking about doing it knifeless wise, you could definitely do this knifeless in one big piece. The only thing is you would not be able to get names cut out of it unless you're somehow doing that before. I'm sure some of you guys know how to do that. For most places, this is going to be the best way to install is having that overlap piece and uh, the install will be great. This, this piece is a little bit tricky to hinge because of the curvature. And you have to hinge it over here, you can't hinge it down here, so if you put a mark on here and then you hinge it back, it gives you something to pull down to. We're about a half inch up off the body line here. And you can see that my pieces are going to overlap like so. So what you want to want to do is line this up, tape that in place, come around here, and lay this piece down to where you see where it's going to line up there, and tape that in place. You're going to want to give yourself. A little guide so you know how far where that tail needs to lay it's a pretty narrow little piece so you want it to land in the right spot when the overlap is completed it'll look good so now this piece we're just gonna flip out of the way
take your mask. Yeah, your mask so that's off. the most important thing. Do not forget to take off the mask. Good. Place. This is where it's important to have this mark up here so you know. It's kind of a flimsy hinge, so as long as you got it right where you need it to be. So what you're saying is don't uh, don't install it in like a 50 mile an hour wind or anything. Probably wouldn't be a good idea. Probably not good. Okay, squeegee strokes. This is important to see how he is squeegeeing it. He's not just going straight up and down. He's actually following the curve of the body line to make sure it's going to line up correctly. You can see we got a nice overlap here. It's nice and consistent. Probably looks better than the factory from what I've seen. You can wait till after you pull your mask off to tuck this around. But you ready to pull the mask off. And